it's 2024 and you're finally going to start blogging. I mean, you're only 20 years late to the party. No, I'm just kidding. You're making a great decision by deciding to start your own blog. Despite what you may have heard out there, it's never too late to start blogging, to start creating content. The benefits that you and your business can enjoy from blogging are huge. And I wanna show you how easy it is for you to start doing so in just a few minutes. All right, let's dive in. I'm about to show you the easiest way to kickstart your blog, but do know that here at Thrive Themes, we talk a lot about marketing, online business, web design and development, and I would strongly recommend you to peek around our YouTube channel, and if you like our content, consider subscribing. Okay, there's only really about five different steps that you need to follow in order to kickstart your blog. Step one is to go to godaddy.com and look for a cool domain that matches your business or something alike. You know, try to keep it SEO friendly, meaning don't make the mistake of using your name, like I did, um, unless you have an established brand around it already, but rather, you know, try to use relevant keywords like TonyTalksMoney.com or MoneyTips.com or, you know, get rich quickly. No, don't use get rich quickly, but, you know, try to make it as easy as possible for Google and other search engines to identify what your blog and business is about. Step two is to jump over to WP Engine or WPX or Bluehost or SiteGround. Find a good WordPress hosting service. Uh, you know, these start at around $20 to $30 a month. These services specialize in hosting WordPress websites, which is the platform that we're going to be using to build your blog. Step three, and I promise that this is the last thing that I'm going to ask you to sign up for, is to sign up for Thrive Suite. There's a link in the description box that you can click on to do so at the best possible price. Thrive Suite is going to be the backbone of your business. You're going to use it to build your WordPress theme, your pages, build your opt-in forms to grow your email list. And when you're ready and when the time comes, you're also going to be able to build quizzes and even courses that you'll be able to monetize further on. But everything in due time. And once you have your Thrive plugin sense tool, I want you to power through the Thrive Theme Builder wizard. This wizard is so incredibly powerful. It is going to essentially create all of the required elements and pages that you're going to need for your blog. You get to pick out a logo for your website, a header, a footer, your brand color, some templates for your homepage, your blog post, your blog post design, and some more other cool things. This process of powering through the wizard, if you know what you're doing, should only take you about 20 minutes or so. And by the time you're done, you quite literally have a fully operating website up and running. Yes, you will probably have to tweak your homepage template so that the text matches your own copy. And you'll probably also want to use images of your own. And this is where Thrive Architect will come into play. But other than that, congratulations, you have a website. But now, the time has come for you to get started writing. You simply need to start creating your blog posts that will eventually help you rank your website higher. And to do that, well, you just need to get started writing. Now, in today's weird day of ChatGPT and Jasper and Google Bard and all of these powerful AIs, there's only one thing that I would encourage you to keep in mind. These tools will do the heavy lifting for you, meaning they can write your post for you and they can SEO optimize them but they're not gonna do the selling for you, which is the difficult part. The power of your voice, the power of your expertise, the power of your knowledge, and the way in which you write, and the way in which your ideas get transmitted to your readers can't be underestimated. So, you know, I'm not saying don't use these tools, but I am asking you to use them wisely. And finally, there is one last thing that I suggest you do, even though I said I was not going to recommend another tool. Look, all-in-one SEO. Like, if you're gonna put in the time into blogging, might as well try to make the most out of the content that you're creating. And all-in-one SEO is your best friend when it comes to ranking content. It's gonna give you really cool feedback as to whether your meta descriptions are good enough, whether you have enough keywords in your content, or if you need more H2 headings in your post. I use it, I really love it, so I thought it wouldn't be wise for me not to recommend it to you all looking to blog on WordPress. And this is how easy it is to get your blog up and running. Useful links, as I said, are in the description box below. And I'm also down in the comment section in case you have any questions. As usual, I truly appreciate your time. Thank you so much. And yeah, get blogging. <laughs>